the 60 RPM neighborhood. So there's a little planet on doing 30. So let's turn it down. Again, pointing out that I'm turning the button. We're currently at 6.25 volts, 6.3, 5 point something. It varies. It stirs it around. We're at 0 0.2 watts, 0 0.3 watts, 0 0.4 watts, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. see this, you'll notice we've now more than doubled the weight that we have. Besides the 4.4 pound and the 2.5 pound plate, we've also had another arm which again is made out of steel. My, my calculations only count the weights, none of the accompanying mass. And we'll just leave it for a bit. And here, while it's doing that, I'll like kick the weight. Give her a whack. It should have moved up your numbers a ways because it had to work to get past that. It's like, hey, <laughs> well, she'll get right back to business as usual. So now we're at 33 pounds of weight. And we're going to turn our motor back on. <coughs> Again, this motor is not really designed as a drive type motor. Uh, I, there's going to be definitely variants where you'll have two, but let's go ahead and count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So we're right at about 30 RPM. On the top end, we're using 1.1.8. Point 0.8, 1.0, these are watts I'm referring to. Point 0.6, point 0.8, 1 1.0, point 0.7, point 0.9. We're at about six point something volts, 6.7, point 0.8, there's a 7. We're at about point 0.1 amps. Yeah, so we're at about where we've been the whole time, folks. But now we're running 33 pounds. This, this is, as you're seeing right there, that is 884 mathematical watts of power. There's no exception to that rule. You cannot take a shaft and have 14.3 pounds on the end of one. The other's got a 14.3 and a 4.4. You can't rotate that much mass at this speed and to use less than 884 watts of power. That's not possible to do. I want you all to understand that. So in that respect, some people always do the magic of a gravity engine because 884 watts, well you heard me talking, but we'll come over for your for your look, see, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't think that's using 884 watts. And you know, I know for a fact it doesn't take 884 watts because this motor is only rated on the best day of its junior league existence at 4.2. So I don't think that somehow that little deal, and I really don't think that this nine volt is. Uh, in case you think there's some magic, there's no magic. 
you saw the magic when he shortened the two tips together. Yeah, that's what we call magic in the industry. I'm using one watt of power, which is 100 ICOs. And again, in case you go home tonight and you're laying in bed and you wake up suddenly and it's 2 a.m. and you say to yourself, I bet you that thing's slowing down by now, though. We're only putting out 6.4, 6.5 volts. We drop 6.1, so we're in the in the sixes. We and it's at full blast. I can't turn up the control anymore because we're just wearing down the battery slowly. But uh, we're st we're still right now. At, there was one watt, 0.9. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 1.1, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, but we're at about a solid uh, 0.15 amps uh, at about six, six some volts. And because it's it's doing a little work, I don't have it balanced perfectly. I'm not killing this to make it as low as possible because. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. So this is at thirty RPM. With this weight at thirty RPM, even if we allow for the a little bit of the weights in the not quite two feet, all that. Uh, actually, this is pushing tw over twenty two hundred watts. But we'll just say you know. 2,000 watts. So that's, as you're watching right now, I'm going to get the camera here in a second, but we're at about a watt right now. Again, we're driving. Gravity is pulling this weight down. What we're actually doing is the torque shaft you see is slightly angled. So the actual principle is we're rotating the plane. The weight is, in essence, always falling. The plane that it's falling towards, that it's attached to, moves. So it has to fall to the next location. So the weights are infinitely falling. They're using gravity. That's why in a lot of parts where people say you can't do this, you can't have, again, this is scientifically documentable at over 2,000 watts of shaft torque. If you don't think that shaft, I just hit the weight. If you don't think that shaft isn't grinding, we have 80 pounds rotating. You know, it's a four foot diameter, two foot radius, and it's grinding on that wheel right now. 